are live. Hello and welcome to the Benefit of a Doubt podcast. Another review of the Benefit of a Doubt podcast on the Benefit of a Doubt YouTube channel. And if I say Benefit of a Doubt five more times real fast, you all get a puppy. Anyway, uh, I'm your host, Adam Dowd. And with me, as always, is Cliff Thomas. Cliff, how are you doing this evening? I was fine until I realized I could want a puppy. Now I really want a puppy. Yeah, well, you have puppies. You don't need any more puppies. And I'm actually up to the legal limit of puppies in my house. So, <laughs> so uh, no puppies, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, and actually this occurred to me just before I hit the go live button. So um, you, you feel free to shoot me down. But I was kind of thinking we still need a name for a review cam. And I'm kind of thinking Skippy, Skippy the review cam. What do we think? So it's funny. I was thinking about that the other day because you you have you've been calling it Mr. <laughs> review Cam, and then I was thinking when we have the second review Cam, we should call it Mrs. Review Cam. Oh, that's true. So we could have Skippy and Sandy, maybe a whole family of review. Cams. A whole family of review Cam. So I don't know. I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna workshop Skippy for a little while, folks. Like but uh, let us know down in the comments. What do you, do you like, Skippy the review Cam? And is Cliff going to live through this entire video? <laughs> <laughs> that's always I a big question. Lost the lung, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We, you only need one. Anyway, um, so we are here to do a review, and this is actually going to be, I think, a fairly short review because, I mean, but you'll very, see why. Very, very. There's not a lot to say. Review, <laughs> yeah, it, it could be. It, it, it is one of our flashiest reviews. That is for sure. Um, but why don't we go ahead and bring up Skippy, and we can... Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm still working workshopping that. Change it. Um, let's let's bring up uh, Skippy and see what we're reviewing today. Oh, this is the Infinity. It is yeah, it is just review cam so far on the title. This is the Infinity XT. Or I'm sorry. See, you said it looked like an XT because um, you, you, <laughs> so you can you can see here it's actually X1 with a little re, uh, copyright reserve thing. So the X1 flashlight, but Cliff kept saying XT when we were off air. So anyway, I blame Cliff for that. So this is the in in Infinity X1 flashlight, and like you're probably thinking to yourself, like this is a tech channel. Why are we looking at a flashlight? That is a very fair question. That is a very valid question and to get to answer that question i'm going to uh i'm going to show you why we're reviewing this on a tech channel so it's so cool this is a rechargeable flashlight that comes with this power cell but you can see it it charges itself with a built-in usb a cable and in addition to that it has a USB-A output, so you can actually charge your devices with this battery, should you so choose. <laughs> I didn't know that part. That's so cool. It is. I mean, I, that's like, you know, all these every everyday uh, carry channels should be covering this this flashlight as well, because that's seriously, a cool purpose. Like, that's seriously really awesome. But, um, so, I mean, that's that's a, that's a, 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 a side function of that's this flashlight obviously like, seriously that's cool. yeah obviously the super the obviously the reason that you own this flashlight is because it is a flashlight and this is a 5000 lumen flashlight which is ridiculous and i will show you how ridiculous in just a second but um you know it's oh, it's yeah, an led flashlight People Go ahead. realize what 5,000 lumens is until you see. Oh, we're going to show them. <laughs> we're going to show them. Um, so, I mean, okay, first of all, this thing is 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 built like, I mean, I hate to use a different brand during the during the review of this, but it's built kind of like a mag light. I mean, it's, it's solid steel. This thing will do some damage. You can mess somebody up seriously with this. I, mean, it, so. it, it, I hate using another brand too, but mag, I mean, mag... <laughs> Maglite really is sort of the like the the thing everybody thinks about when they the Kleenex it. of uh, of exactly. facial tissue, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so I mean, this thing will do some damage. Um, it has an adjustable uh, light on the front of it, so you can see this rotates, so it you know zooms in and out basically. Beveled, beveled face too, so it's very grippy. Yeah. Yeah, and so you can see how it uh, how it shrinks in and out. There are three there are three levels of brightness. So I'm going to shoot this off to the side here. So hopefully it won't like completely blow out the camera. But so you've got like the the 
all the way on and then it goes down one and then it goes down one and then it's it turns off so um and then this is the battery indicator across the top here so um feel by the way is it clicky Oh, it's very clicky. Yeah, it's very clicky. It's uh, rubber, you know, rubberized on the top of it, so it's very easy to find. And, I mean, really, that's most of what you're going to find in this flashlight because it is, at the end of the day, a flashlight. But it's a 5,000 lumen flashlight. And in addition to the cool thing that you can do with, like, charging your other devices, I love the fact that I can just bust this out and plug it in with the USB-A. I don't have to worry about, like, rechargeable batteries or anything like that. But this also does ship with a battery um, uh, like a portable, like a, a swappable battery thing where you can put nine AA batteries in here if you wanted to. So you have a backup in case that runs out and you need it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it's for. I have never used this because I haven't had to. Oh, this could but be badly. I'm just kidding. No, but I mean, so yeah, you can just you can just put that right in and then bada bing, bada boom. So... Yeah. yeah, there you go. I you need to turn it all the way off. There we go. Um, wonder, like, how long would those batteries last at the, t- at the top spec there? With these batteries, I yeah. don't know. This is rated to last about five hours on a single charge, which is pretty consistent with my uh, with my testing. I haven't. What I, I guess what I should have done is just turned it on and walked away from it and come back five hours later. But it's hard to do battery tests like that. that. Would have been a, a lawsuit, so we can't really do that. Yeah. So, but it's it's advertised as five hours. I would say that's pretty close. I've had this thing for about six weeks. I have charged it once. So, I mean, you really can't you really can't complain. Now, this does take a very long time to charge. There's two things that I kind of don't like about this. Um, um, actually, I guess two and a half, if you want to say it. But okay, so when you charge with this USB A cable, it takes a long time to charge. I had it charging for about four and a half hours the other day. So this is the second time that I was charging it because, you know, I wanted to have it charged for the show. Um, So I charged it for like four and a half hours the other day. And I don't know if it fully charged or not, because when you plug it in, there is simply a red LED that lights up and that's it. (laughs) So um, I green when it's fully charged. I've never seen it turn off and I've never (laughs) seen it turn green. Um, so it's possible that now it is possible that this just takes a ridiculously long time to charge <laughs> and I just haven't left it plugged in long enough. I mean, I guess I could leave it in overnight. I, I never did that, but I was just, you know, I had, you had it plugged in while I was working. Um, the Can other thing to charge it without having the, the back cap on. You mean, is there a way, wait, what do you mean to charge the battery without actually having to take it out? Uh, no. No, that I mean, that is kind of another I I don't really consider that to be a major thing, because if you're charging it, it's probably not working anyway. Um, Also, I mean, the fact that you can swap it out for for for, uh, you know, batteries. Yeah. The the trade off there, too, which I think I think that's an acceptable. I guess what you what you could argue is it would be nice if you could just take the back cap off and maybe plug it into like a portable battery pack. I guess if you needed to to go for longer than five hours, I, I that's a, that's a very that's a reasonable use case. That's 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 a good request. You can't do that. Contacts so that you could you know right. I, I mean, I, I I would imagine this has probably got some kind of you know waterproofing or yeah. Oh, there's rubber gaskets all over this place. Right. Yeah, that's probably another reason why you can't do that. I just I'm thinking about you know convenience. Factor. Oh, totally. But honestly, I mean, yeah, this was the back off. It's not like it's that big of a deal. Yeah. And like you were showing, I mean, you can swap it in for. Uh, I guess that were, were those double A's? Were those... Double A's. Okay. Yeah, nine double A batteries. <laughs> All the double A batteries. Right. So about about ten dollars worth of double A batteries if you wanted to. But, but, the, but the fact that you can do that I think is definitely worth the trade off. Oh totally. Um and then uh the other thing that I'm not particularly crazy about is like I said, there's three levels of brightness and you have to cycle through all of them in order to turn it off. So, you know, you have it on full power and then you have to like, you know, one, two, three to turn it off. Or if you want to have put it on medium power, it's one, two and then one, two to turn it back off. So it's I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, it's it's certainly a first world problem. But um, 
We but yeah. smartphone and gadget people have such high expectations for I, We really do. Um, but, uh, you know, the, and then the, the other thing uh, that has a lanyard, um, a lanyard yeah. uh, well, spot well, on the back well, on, yeah. on both places. Yeah. So just in general, this is a really nice, durable utility flashlight that, I mean, if you want to peel the paint off your house, this will probably do a pretty good job. And um, is it stainless steel? No, this is uh, this is stainless steel as far as I know. OK, so um, but yeah, it's it's super solid. I mean. Like I said, you you could do some damage with this thing if you had to. Um, but anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and 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 show folks what we're talking about here. I've got a video here that I shot on my iPhone, um, and I'll kind of narrate it as we go along. This is me walking out into the woods. Um, this is at night, and forest preserves are closed at night, so that's why there's a that's why there's a post here, and that's why there's a cable here, so, as I had to park like right outside of it. But um, anyway, uh, oh, you know, I can dark. It it is dark. It, this is like ten o'clock at night, um, and so and before I show you this, I just wanna I just wanna say like every Adam, once in a while, a fat guy in the background. Yeah, I know. That's me. Um, every once in a while, I get one of those I love my job moments. And this was one of them because this video turned out exactly what I was hoping that it was going to look like. <laughs> like, I wasn't positive going in. Um, but you know what? And Actually, before I show you the rest of this, I should show you. So this flashlight here. Um, let me just pop back into review cam mode real quick. This is the flashlight that I compared it against. And you can tell this is just a little normal, little handheld flashlight that you keep in a drawer or something like that. So as it, their website advertises this as 2000 lumens, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I really I don't. This video, I it doesn't look like uh, the other one is two and a half times the power. It looks about 20 times. Right. So... A spoiler alert. Um, so I actually, uh, the only reason I have this flashlight is because once upon a time, I got a rotating, um, like a like a Lazy Susan thing for like product f shots and stuff like that. And it takes this kind of battery, which is also rechargeable. Um, so I got the, I got like three batteries with this and a char and a battery charger and the flashlight. So it was like all bundled together and I needed it for the uh, turntable anyway. So I just went ahead and, and ordered this. So this is the flashlight that I normally keep in my desk for like, Oh, I lost a thing. I need to look and see where it is, you know, Sorry about okay. that later. Okay. Later. Uh, so let's get back to the video and let's show you exactly what we're, uh, what we're working on here. So, um, and you can see there's some cars driving by every now and then. <laughs> so, uh, that was me accidentally turning on the strobe light. Okay. So this is this flashlight shining into the trees. Okay. So just, just as the little guy, just, you know, panning around, that's what you get. Now let's, let's look at the big one. Wow. <laughs> 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 planes are flying <laughs> crashing now because you've blinded them from and so this is the next level down Golly. and then that's the last level before you finally turn it off well i know where you are now i mean seriously like <laughs> this thing will suck the pain off your house if you're not careful <laughs> um i'm actually kind of surprised that i didn't start these woods on fire <laughs> in retrospect <laughs> um okay so now i walk we've had, back we've had a, the counter we've had a, a rash of blind raccoons and we're not sure why <laughs> So now I walk back and just to further, uh, further, uh, show the point, I turn on my headlights here. Okay. Those are the headlights from my car. And then these are the high beams, which I had to turn off real quick because there was a car coming, you know, facing me. So I didn't want to be a jerk. Um, so those are the high beams. And then that's the flashlight oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> in comparison to my headlights. So from your, your uh, camera. Yeah. From the camera and from this post here. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's so, I mean, it, like I said, this is just one of those videos that like, I knew what I wanted it to look like and that's exactly what it looked like. And it was beautiful. So um, I actually didn't watch. So, so we talked about 
this video earlier today. Uh, yeah. Spoiler alert. But, uh, and I didn't watch that far. And now I really wish I had, but I actually know because my reaction was true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like I, I went back and, and watched that on like on my phone and I'm like, <laughs> and once I saw it, I was laughing all the way home. <laughs> As I drove home, it was just, I'm like, this is so perfect. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, I mean, you, you can put the, the, the little flashlight next to it again for comparison, but I mean, I wouldn't say that the difference between the size of those versus the difference between the, the brightness really is like uh, a ratio of one to one. Like, no, it's not, it's not, a no. Problem. This is, I mean, so this is not that much bigger. This is probably about, hang on. It's like two and a half times the size. This is 13 inches long. And, you know, this is about five inches long. So this is roughly two and a half times bigger. Uh, like like from, in, in terms of length. Um, and so, but like you said, the light that these output, this is way more than two and a half times. <laughs> Like it is ridiculous how bright this is. I mean, like there is actually a modern community out there that I know of, of, of like the people that are like the everyday carry kind of people. Shout out mm -hmm. to those people because you guys are way more outdoorsy and it's oh yeah more awesome than me. And you know, we're we're and and they actually that that modern community buys like these these high uh, cheap flashlights with high-end leds in them mm -hmm. and mods them to make them better and uh, but i mean why would you need more than what you have you would not you <laughs> would not and and speaking of buying um this retails for about um 90 bucks God, that's so i mean which is not bad a lot for a flashlight until you see what it is and the fact that you can actually swap out again like regular batteries i mean really mm -hmm. it's about all you that you need yeah i would actually buy two of them for my house and then i'd be set yeah i mean seriously and you know you, you keep one in your car one in your house something like that and you know you keep one in your car in case you ever get carjacked <laughs> so i or mean you, you could just run away while the person is blinded for the rest of the uh, i mean seriously i mean <laughs> y y yeah you just pull this out and you have a, yeah here look at this Bong! and then and then crack and then you're done <laughs> <laughs> i mean this thing is like it's just it's I, I kind of love it a little bit. I mean, for as much yeah, as, too. yeah, for as much as I'm not like really an outdoorsy guy kind of guy, I dig this. And, you know, I used to be an outdoorsy kind of guy and I wish I had this like back when I was in Boy Scouts and whatnot, because this would have been amazing. Um, uh, a while ago, my brother was a delivery driver for a pizza place and my dad bought this. It was like a million candle power. Mm hmm spotlight for my brother to look at for addresses like on on houses i remember those because what you'd have is you'd have like it was this big top. It was yeah big. yeah it was, it was bigger than my head <laughs> yellow mm, it was this one was white but yeah but, but, I mean, but it'd have like diesel batteries it weighed like five pounds yeah yeah and and, and then better. there's this yeah. You know, yeah. and this probably this probably weighs close to five pounds if I had to guess. Really? It's probably about a half a gallon of milk. <laughs> um, you can a scale. Yeah, we need we need something. <laughs> Skippy, the review cam. I mean, Skippy's um, already got a caliber, so we might as well go with the next. That's true. That's true. But uh, anyway, so this is the Infinity XT. There will be a link down below in the show notes. So uh, go ahead and pick one up if you want. And because, you know, you never know when you might need to, uh, you know, insta dry some clothes or something. <laughs> because, like, it's just, whoo. Anyway, <laughs> you know, or me. You go to the beach need a tan. You never know when your neighbor three doors down drops their keys and they might need a light. <laughs> And you don't want to walk up. Here you go. I'm here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, that is going to do it for this uh, particular episode. Um, if you like what you see, you know, let us know down in the show notes. Comment down below and let us know what you uh, 
Let us know if you're going to be picking one of these up or if you have something, maybe you have something similar. I'd love to hear about it. So, um, but uh, in the meantime, that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Please consider subscribing to this podcast if you enjoyed it. And if you really enjoyed it, I would love it if you would write a review for the show. And since you're watching this on YouTube, while you're at it, click on that subscribe button so you can be notified of new episodes and reviews as they drop. Or if you don't want to do that, I'll just walk outside and turn this on and wave it in the air a couple of times <laughs> so you can you know if you happen to be in like south america like you can signal, you can or... see it yeah uh but anyway if voice. you want some early access jump on to patreon at patreon.com slash benefit of the doubt i'd like to thank co-producer cliff and co-host cliff for all of his hard work behind the scenes but most of all and as always i would like to thank you for listening and for giving us the benefit of the doubt <laughs> <laughs>